He's been breaking for ten years straight, so you know he's here to stay. Marge, get my stun gun. Yeah, the the blues are always more desirable. Uh, collectors like the blues better. They always have. news is this is the 102 case or the bad news is it's a hobby case it's all right though because after this we get to do jumbo we're not stuck at hobby anymore like we were that was terrible i was so bad <laughs> stuck at hobby how do we live like this i don't know all right we're gonna go right first and see how that works out for us So what did you guys do today? I slept the day away. Well, I did work quite a good while. I worked until like 4 in the afternoon. But that was still the day before in my head. And then I s got home, ate some dinner, reheated some pizza. And then, um, yeah, um, got up around midnight and uh, stopped at Wawa. <laughs> Got a coffee, and uh, here we are. Just like that. That's how it works. That's how it works in my world. <laughs> Bro, if you only got 25 left to go, man, you got to do it. You, you know, it's going to be worth more. The blues are more. Those are the ones you want, so. But, yeah, man, just 25 to go? Shoot. sell you some boxes you want to do some boxes see if you can hit some blues those greens I mean a green sets cool it is it's a great set but the blues just pop you let me know if you want to open some I got you Two ninety, is that what they're going for? Holy cow. I was gonna say two fifty, but if it's two ninety, it's two ninety, I guess. Is that what blowouts got them at? Two ninety? I think I paid two fifty. Yeah. I give them to you for two fifty if you want. I have to find the box though. Uh, I can probably find it. I found the one that had the top chrome in it. I'm sure I can find the one that's got these. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. You got the Indians? I got uh, Logan Gilbert. I got um, I got the Dodgers in one. I don't know. 
in 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 six five I've got the Dodgers. I don't know what I have in six four. Um, I've, I'm in break two in six four and six five, but I don't know what teams I got in six four. <laughs> it's all cryptic. And I've got two cases of something from a warehouse in the east. <laughs> Blowouts in the east? Is that who you mean? <laughs> Those sealed cases are a pretty big deal. Because so many of them were, you know... Jesus. Or boxes. I rubbed my leg against the side of the, the table and I thought something was crawling on me and it was just me rubbing against the table. Scared the hell out of myself. I have no idea what's releasing when, bro. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Gus Varland, uh, purple paper. Clark Schmidt, blue refractor. <laughs> uh, he's not doing Bowman Draft Sapphire too much anymore. He's still... I mean, I haven't seen him do much of anything. I don't know what he's breaking at uh, at the Wolf's Place, but... Uh, he's, in, he's in my mixers tonight, though. You can still crash out. We went right, yeah. I think that's the way to go. Uh, it was a uh, top 100 Logan Gilbert to 50. So what did you guys do today? It's only a, <coughs> a few of us in here, so we can chat without it going nuts. <laughs> Out here now. <laughs> uh, Mike Yastrzemski, Yastrzemski, purple paper. How many did you go to? It's funny seeing on, you know, like uh, Twitter and stuff like that, people just walking into Target and like the shelves are just stacked with, you know, stuff that they can buy for a thousand and flip for three thousand. It's an amazing, it's an amazing point of the hobby where you can walk into a Target that's just been stocked and make a couple grand, you know? <laughs> I spent stupid money today on Tops 2020. 
the way I look at it is the first the first cards are gonna be the cards you want because the print runs are so low and there's so many people that maybe join this this year or next year or the year after that um, you know and like find out that their artists you know two years from now had a card way back in in March you know what I mean those are the ones I think are gonna be the cards to get I think so I mean I, I know that the the market still went down again today but I think on a lot of the early cards I've seen a lot of um, I've seen a lot of either stability or or even a, a slight increase so we'll see but that's my gamble my gamble is I don't I mean I'm not worried about where they'll be next week you know I'm thinking more about where they'll be in a year <laughs> My I did a spreadsheet on what I had and what I had coming in, but it's completely out of date right now. So, yeah. I didn't check and see if my staff brought in any mail either. Uh-oh. Andy Pages, he is everywhere. Dominguez. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way I look at it, too. Um, I haven't sold. I usually, I always try to sell some of the ones that I get in. And I didn't do that today. I should have. Because I think all the ones, I got in 40. Not, well, within the last 48 hours, I've gotten in 48, 40 cards from Tops, And, um, you know, I bought, I bought 10 of each of, of, four different cards and they all came and they're going for like about 50 bucks each right now and I paid 16 so what I want to do is is sell about three or four maybe three sell three of each <laughs> you know if I sell three of each um, I've almost put myself at zero for money spent on those cards so I was thinking about doing that because I could get I could sell three for hundred and fifty dollars and then um, you know I only paid like 170 one, 157 is what I paid I think is what it comes out to for 10 cards I could sell three for 150 yeah there's it's crazy. They're going to 400. That's nuts. There's going to be 20 different trouts. There's going to be 20 of every card. And 20 from each artist. That's crazy. That is a crazy number of cards. Jeremy Pena. That's a nice one. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm trying to get them now. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I'm trying to get them while they're low. And I'm trying to get them while I can. Um... I've got almost, I, I want to work on the first 20, well really the first 24, but I've got, I think I've got 
um, almost all of them now, with a couple doubles. I've got two number. I've got two of the the baller Ichiro's. Um, I paid too much for the first one. Not at the time. At the time, it was a pretty good deal. Gus Varlin, but um, you know, the second one I got just a hair under market as of today. So between the two of them, I've only you know, I've slightly overpaid for the two of them. But I think that one's in for a pretty big correction. I think that one's going to go. That one's going to be one of the ones, you know. And then the Ermsey Trout. I know people are talking about how it went under a thousand, but if you are going to do the Trout set, you're going to need that card, you know. I think that one's got a lot of room. Um, I I've always said that's a three thousand dollar card, so um, I'm, you know, I I can be wrong, but I'm pretty confident in that that at some point that's where it'll be yeah exactly get it for free you know you don't have to take all your profit at once just take you know take it in steps that's that's the way I've always I've always looked at it you know the worst day traders the worst ones the ones that lose all their money are the ones that that always try to chase the peak or the valley the absolute pinnacle or the lowest point and that's not how you make your money <laughs> you know you make your money in the meat you know on the way up and on the way down that's where you make your money and then once you're free and clear and already have your profit for the day then sure you can chase a little bit because you, you've got nothing to lose but um, you know take take your money when it's there man <laughs> uh, I have no idea what I paid, but I'm pretty sure I paid market. Um, so, I mean, I would give them to you around 250 if that's what you want, but I don't think I'd want to go any, any lower than 250 I mean, I know for a fact I paid well over 200 so I think it was around 250 Forrest Whitley. I'd sell you a couple boxes. Get a, we could break up the monotony a little bit. But I don't know how long you'll be around. Valera, back-to-back -back Dodgers. Valera, no color yet. Insert auto, but no color. Valera. All Dodgers all the time. Yeah, I'm looking for another. I'd like to get another uh, trout, but um, I paid two for the first one. I'd like to get the second one at about 700 bucks, and I, I just don't see that happening. I sure would like to. Either that or I'll try to get it in another lot deal. The big lot I bought today didn't have one. It did have the baller, though. So... But, I mean, if you can get those first 10 cards, the first week of cards, the first 10 cards, if you can get them, that's that's the way to go. Cards 1 through 10. And then and then work on, you know, 11 through 20, you know. And then 21 through 30. And once you get into the 30s, for the most part, it's, it's you know, pretty easy. Um, there's a couple cards, like card 54. That one's a tough one. A lot of the Dwight Goodens are really low, you know, so... I just think a lot of people like the baller trout, like the look of it. I do a lot more than I like the the Fuji trout's going the wrong direction. You know what I mean? Like he's facing the wrong way. But I don't have any, uh, and it's not it's Fuki, right? Isn't that how you pronounce it? Fuki, not not Fuji. Uh, but um, I don't have any, so I really need to get get at least one or two. I almost bought them today. They were up at like fifty, and I tried to get them two for ninety, and. Uh, he wouldn't budge and then somebody else put him up at that price and by the time I saw it it was too late they were gone all right buddy you have a good one 
Slackers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really I'm kidding. Tops Chrome either. I need to pull them all out of the box so I can count them. So I know exactly what I have left. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Well, if they're 45 on eBay, I could probably get two for 80. I'd be pretty happy with that. I'm even right now on my baller trouts. Like, I don't. All my baller trouts are gravy at this point. <laughs> so nail polish. Bryce Ball Refractor, so still no color. Bryce Ball Refractor Auto. That's right. There's a guy that sells uh, group breaks and... Um, Project 2020 on eBay, and everything else he sells is vibrators. <laughs> Imagine lumping your, your, your purchases together in order to save money on shipping. <laughs> Here, let me. Can I get the Stimulator 5000 with my uh, Project 2020 cards? <laughs> How many of the new trouts? Um, I don't know if I've put the order in yet, but 70. I bought 70, but only 20 for me. 50 I already sold. So tw I guess 20 is, is the answer to your question. But it, in all, I bought 70. Um, and the people that bought the 50, they only bought one at a time. So I don't think that they're necessarily going to flip, although, I mean, they might. But it looks like they're just going to go right into collections. You know, that's why you buy one, you know. Juan DeFranco. I don't know if that's a good deal, the first four Trouts. It's a nice card, Wonder. I mean, you know, the first one's a 1,000. So that's half of it, but then are the rest worth another thousand? <laughs> Spend your stimulus on a stimulator. <laughs> he should use that. That should be his thing. I want to do I want to have two of every card because I want to do I want to be able to have a player collection and I want to have a um, 
an artist collection. Now, obviously, if you do one of each card, you got both, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm buying 20 of all the new cards because I can just give them away. And if they're selling at a profit, I could sell a couple of them, you know, recoup everything and then give them away. And it didn't cost me anything. The giveaways are free. I've put about 20 grand, not counting buying the new cards, not counting buying new cards, just buying old cards. I've put about 20 grand into it. It's not worth the 20 grand right now. You know, I, I didn't buy at exactly the right time, unfortunately, but um, yeah. I was lucky enough not to buy too many of them at the peak. The only card I bought at peak was the Ermsey Trout. And I think that one is a good, safe investment, even though it's it's down at the moment. Um, but the rest I bought on the way down. So while they're not they're not worth quite what I paid for them, I didn't get them at peak either, you know. Miguel Vargas, nice card. Miguel Vargas Atomic. Yeah, yeah, it will. But, you know, that's why I like to buy them by the 10, because if I buy them by the 10, and then I flip a few of them and pay for those 10, then I've got the card for, you know, nothing. This is a nice hit. You ready for this? <laughs> nice card. So that's our first color. Uh, it's speckle, but there should it be there should be at least three more color in here. But yeah, you figure, you know, $17 a card times 400. You know, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Especially when it's, you know, 10 cards a 10 cards a week, you know. What other what other hits have you gotten from Volpe? I hit him pretty well. I mean, I don't know about the hundred caser, but right now, I think you want to have about five cards. I think right around five autos is the average. You don't have to have that many. I mean, you can always catch up. Miguel Vargas again. He's everywhere. Miguel Vargas orange paper. That's really good for the orange paper spot. That's a nice card. Sixto Sanchez. Uh, 
so you haven't even hit like a real color <laughs> you need you need an actual like rainbow color not just uh not just speckle and atomic although the i bet the atomic looks cool You know, it's funny, if it wasn't for Dominguez, Volpe would be a lot more expensive, you know? <laughs> Dominguez is, like, actually helping you. Early. Early he's helping you. In the long run, I think you'll come out ahead. Unless he, you know, it doesn't work out, but... Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I hit some big color on him in the first 14, though. Two orange and a blue. So, I mean, I, I hit him. I just haven't hit him yet. But you did get a free Ken Griffey if you've got the uh, Andrew Vaughn spot. <laughs> you got a free Ken Griffey auto. I don't know what you paid for Vaughn, but I think the Griffey's like 250 I don't think so because they can just make them blue you know they've been blue most years so they could look like atomic and then be blue i'm su I, I think they might not be doing sapphire this year i for bowman i mean they've never done it but i really thought they were gonna um but it looks like they're not because it you know i think they'd have announced it by now and maybe maybe everything's delayed i don't know yeah yeah it's the only one left um every prospect is hit except for um vaughn andrew vaughn so you won the uh you won the consolation prize of the um the griffey there's still three rookies left mckay aquino and i don't remember the other guy so whoever's left of that they'll get one too Patino, Refractor. Yeah, that's right, Bichette. Probably not very many. I mean, I really doubt it, honestly. I mean, probably only Blowout has enough to sit on. And I'm sure they're probably sitting on some. Austin Beck, Sky Blue.
Colton Welker. Watson. Tanner Hawk. No, I mean, I just, I've only been awake for like four hours. I don't know. I don't know why I've yawned so much. Do have NOS though. Could probably get my godson to bring me one. <laughs> He's gonna get mad. I'm gonna interrupt this video game. Mijo. Hi. Can you bring me a NOS? Yeah. Get one of the new ones, not one of them old crusty ones, okay? Okay, the one in the fridge? Yeah, yes, please. Okay. Alright, thanks, baby. Yeah. I think he was saying something, but I hung up on him. <laughs> Come in. The blue one. The the new ones, not not the old ones. There's some old crusty like some old ones in there. Old as Moby Dick when he was a minnow. I don't drink uh, soda, although, you know, this NOS is probably worse. I either drink water or 
tea or coffee. It's from all the way on the left, right, honey? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, buddy. Yeah, I don't like I don't like it. I don't like mango at all, but the ones that are in there are really old. This business that I'm in, um, they shut down, you know, and they've been shut down since like February. So the stuff that they still have <laughs> is really old, you know, old crusty stuff in there. Ooh, nice card for Rutledge, Jackson Rutledge. It's a nice hit right there. So that's two color. Yeah, I really like a jumbo case because there's so much going on. But immediately right after this break, we're going to do uh, a quick mixer. They're pretty fast. But I'm going to do the mixer, and then um, we'll come right back to this. I haven't eaten either. That might affect it. <sighs> I was going to get a soup from Wawa, but they didn't have any. I mean, they had soup, but it was all crap. I like corn chowder. There, there are others. I mean, really, I, I only like... Uh, their chicken noodle. The rest of that stuff is just... So I kind of stay away from most of their other soups. And my uh, my godson, the one that was just in here, he's, he's only 13, so I can't, like, send him in the car to go get me something. <laughs> I can't. I can't send him to go get me anything. In a couple years, though, <laughs> I'm going to. No, I already gave you the the price. I gave you the price. That's 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 my price, Cracker Jack. <laughs> yeah, their soup's crusty. <laughs> uh, now, don't get me wrong, Wawa for a gas station, they're one hell of a restaurant. I'm gonna be honest with you, for a gas station, Wawa is one hell of a restaurant. But only their chicken noodle soup is good. The rest are crusty. Yeah, man, don't 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 let that hold you back. Thirty-five dollars a case, shoot. Handle that, bro. You want it, right? Don't worry about what you paid yesterday. You know, you can never worry about what you paid yesterday or worry about what you might pay tomorrow. You know what I mean? If 35 is 35, spend that money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't start until, well, uh, let's see. I've been live an hour, so, I mean, not too many people roaming around. <laughs> Not too many people roaming around at uh, 5 a.m. On a, what day is this? I don't even know. Wednesday? Oh, how many, how many do I have? Well, how many are you trying to buy? I was only going to sell you a couple. You can get a couple. You can get, you can get a few. You can get some. But you can't, like, buy them all. <laughs> oh, crusty Bowman Drive Sapphire. I got to keep some. I can throw them in my end of the year mystery boxes. <laughs> it's not Friday. Is it really Friday? Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I think you're right. Oh. I have 
completely lost track of the days. You know what happened? Uh, you know what I what uh, I was dreaming about last night? I was dreaming that um, I forgot to buy the cards from Tops.com, and they went off, and I couldn't get them, and I had already pre-sold them. I think the only ones I still need to get are these Willie Mays ones. But uh, that you guys just reminded me <laughs> that I had this dream that I didn't buy them. So I'm going to look and see what the last ones I bought were. I can't believe it's Friday. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the last ones I bought were the Trout Jameson and the Tyson Beck Sandy Koufax. And I bought 20 for me. Okay, so let's go back and look. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, you can still get those cards, actually. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to actually going to. I'm going to I'm going to get these real quick before I forget even though I got over a day. <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about like it woke me up from my sleep that I might have missed out on these and then I owe people and then I would felt horrible cuz I'd have to refund them and then they would have had to buy them like from somebody else. can't believe it's Friday. <laughs> I knew it was Friday the whole time. I was just testing you guys. I was like, I wonder how many of these guys are going to fall for me not knowing what day it is. <laughs> All right, this is costing me $2,000, I think. $2,202, that's what it's costing me right now. $2,240. That's what I just paid. For 140 cards. Let me see if the math is still working on this. So 2,000, no, dang it. 2,202.4 divided by 140. I want this to be 1,573. Yeah, 1,573. Okay, so I charge everybody the right amount of money. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do that too. Don't tell him about this. On the and he's going to be like, "On this weekend breaks, Houdini has no idea what day it is." Yes, I can absolutely see him doing this. Nobody tell him about this. <laughs> uh, less than 15 but more than 3. Uh I have that many. So sure. Sure. I got gotcha. you. No, you can't stack them. But a lot of the stuff that they sell is like 20 bucks. You know what I mean? So you could buy two of those and then you only pay the tax. That's my pro. I mean, that's the profit that I'm getting. So um, Jeremy Pena, by the way, is our auto. Um, so that's like my profit is the $40 off coupons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the most of those um of the I bought 70 of each. 50 of them I've already sold. I've been paid for them, you know. So, um it's only 20 that I'm getting my actual actually getting myself. Spencer Howard to 25. So, I'm paying 20 times 1573. So, I'm paying like 600 bucks a day into this. But I, I mean, other than probably the shore Griffey, I'm not going to lose money on any of them. And I bought more than 20 shore Griffies. <laughs> I bought more than 20 shore Griffies. So yeah, uh, nothing. We, it's nothing we hit. Um, one of the guys in chat didn't know what day it was. So jokes on him. Yeah, it won't, it won't let you stack. At least it hasn't let me stack anyway. But I mean, if you did get the Jeter, you'd get forty dollars off. I wish they'd like let me do a hundred dollar off. You know what I mean? And make it and make it easier on them too, because then they'd only have to ship. They'd have to ship less. <laughs> yeah. How many did you buy? I bought a hundred. I bought a hundred Griffey Shores for me. 
just for me i bought a hundred of them but i'm just gonna give them away i mean but i you know i mean that's fifteen hundred dollars um and they're worth i don't know they're they're probably still worth like a thousand <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Have a good one. Hunter Bishop. Hunter Bishop. But seriously, go buy that stuff if you want it. Don't worry about it being an extra dollar or two a can. Get that surge. Unless it's going to give you a heart attack and then don't buy it. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. You want a free Jeter. That makes sense. But there are things that they sell that are, you know, forty dollars, and next thing you know, you're you're almost you're almost paying nothing for them. Um, I like to buy the rookies. So when Tops Now comes out with a rookie, I'll usually go in and get forty dollars worth of that rookie, and then I only pay a couple bucks. You know, I think that's the way to go. And then they do those. Uh, remember those um, redemption packs we were opening? Um, they were $20 each. So you could buy two of those, use the $40 off coupon, and they they only cost you shipping and taxes. You know what I mean? So it's that's, that's a really good way to do it. You bought at $422? The Griffey Shore, you bought at $422? Oh, no, you're talking about a different card. Okay. Yeah, I bought some of those, too, but I didn't buy as many. I think I bought 50 of those. But, yeah, good point, you know. I'll buy I will buy them for anybody that uh, that asked me to before the print run came out that took me up on the offer before the print run came out I'll buy theirs but what happened is people started contacting me and saying hey I heard you were buying the Griffey Shore at um, at you know 150 for 10 and I was like um, where did you hear that and they were like oh on Twitter and I was like well you know did you did you reply to the video and say you'd take me up on the offer? And they're like, no, but I will. I was like, no, this is too late. <laughs> it's too late. You know, I, I got, I actually had like three or four people like, yeah, I heard you were buying that at 10 that you told people to buy it. And you're right. I did. But those people are crazy. They think just, <laughs> just cause I said that, that they can sell me the one. They didn't even watch my video. You know what I mean? Yeah, I bought the McGuire Shore today at 400. I don't know if it dipped below that or not, but I paid 400 for the McGuire Shift or Shore, the McGuire Shore. I paid 400 for that today. I think it's gonna be a hundred thousand. I think the autos is gonna push it over. I thought it would be 50. I really thought 50, but now with the autos, I think that's gonna make more people buy. And, you know, that's great for Blake and, and Baller. I guess he's probably going to get a cut. But I wish Blake hadn't had not done the collab. I, d I don't I don't I think the card was fine without the collab, but whatever. Yeah, I thought it'd be 50. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be closer to 75, 100. Which is a shame because it makes it worthless, but you know, it's trout, so it'll never be worthless, but I mean, you're never going to be able to, you mean, you might be able to break even on it.
I think a couple things hurt it. One, you know, I think the baller collab might hurt it more than help it now, but I don't know. And then I think that uh, <laughs> Trout's face looks a little funny, so I think maybe that that hurts it a little bit. Um, and then, you know, the, the market crashing on the cards, I think, hurts it. But the fact that it's Blake and the fact that it's uh, Diaz rookie and the fact that it's uh, Trout, you know, I think that helps. And then the auto, they said they're going to throw in 10 autos. I think that helps. So... Yeah, the short trout's going to be funny. No, no, it's not worth buying at 70K or, pr or printed. Buy one, you know, but not. Don't buy 10. And having said that, I bought 20, you know, so. For myself, I bought 20. But I didn't do that with an expectation to flip or to profit. I was thinking about doing a Project 2020 <laughs> buyback product. <laughs> you know? That's you! Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Yeah, I bought from a guy today that said the same thing. Um, he was buying one each. And uh, after about 20, he stopped because he didn't realize there was going to be that big, you know. So he was like, whoa, it just got to be too expensive. So I stopped. So he bought one each of the first 20. He spent $400. And I paid him. I only bought 15. He only had 15 left. He had piecemealed some out. I bought 15 from him today for $7,000. And he, he quit. He quit at 20 because it got too expensive at 400 bucks. He probably made, you know, close to 10 grand on his $400. True, I mean, absolute true story. Well, the guys selling at 13, they're just trying to get their money back. You know what I mean? They're just trying to get as much as they can back because they, they know it's not going once it, to, once it comes out, it's going to go lower. Parade is because all these people are going to have them in hand and they're all going to sell it once. What Top should have done is got Griffey to sign 10 of those shores that they sold. And then said, hey, surprise. Griffey signed 10 of these. We're going to stick them in for free. You know? That's what they should have done.
Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because it's a shame for poor Ermsy, you know? The first trout only selling, what what was it, like 2,000 copies? Everybody else is going to get 100,000. <laughs> Even Baller only selling 35. James Beard. Oh, wow. Look at that. Isn't that our second Beard Gold? Wow. And that's great, man, because that spot didn't get picked up. The guy that had the spot didn't pay for it. And somebody else grabbed it. Oh, or did they? I think so. I think somebody grabbed it. We've hit two gold for that spot. Did I have to eat it? I might have had to eat that spot. Now that I think about it. Because nobody took it. I think one person wanted to pay like weeks later or something like that. But that was it. Yeah. I mean still it's nothing compared to the others. It's a nice card, James Beard. And I'm pretty sure that's my second gold beard. I think it's my second gold beard, right? Or was that in a different break? It might have been in a different break. I wonder how you can tell if it's good. And listen, the guy that says, you know, high probability to hit certain players, none of that's true. It's just, you know, it's it's a limited sample size is all. Yeah, there it is. James Beard. I see it. K16 gold yeah that's good <laughs> not in hobby or or jumbo there's a high probability of certain players because they sign more base cards but there's not a high probability of certain players in hobby versus jumbo that's not that's not that's not true that's just based on limited sample size I mean, people say it every year. Oh, I hit more of this guy in this product than I hit this guy in this product. But nobody's opening as many as I am. And I can tell you for a fact that's not true. All right. I mean, we could trust you. L-O-L-O-L. -L -L. I mean, sure. What do I know, right? <laughs> CJ Abrams. Oh, 
Well, I think it's a lot of LOLs. That's what it looks like. <laughs> the Polly Shore Grippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got me, buddy. With with logic like that, I don't know how I could uh, refute it. Lot of retail Bowman. <laughs> uh, he wasn't doing no harm. I mean, he's kind of an idiot, but he wasn't doing any harm. Cody Host Purple. What do we got here? This guy has done really well lately. Really started to pick up. How much are the Houdini autograph cards? Probably negative. They're probably worth less than the paper they're printed on. I would imagine. Ronaldo Hernandez. Could you imagine spending half a million dollars, half a billion dollars every day on sports cards? What would you buy? I mean, I spent half a million dollars on Bowman in one week last week. So, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not in that guy's league, but. <laughs> You're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I either use it too late or, or never at all. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what he meant. <laughs> Could be.
Don't just stand there. Buster Posey. Pardino. We've got one auto left, and we've already hit four color and an insert, so it might not be a colored auto. Yellow paper, Joey Votto. The upside down cards don't bother me, but I bet it drives my staff up a wall. Xavier Edwards. Let's hit color. Bam! Or a base is fine, too. Whichever one. Whichever one. <laughs> Jacob Hicks. <laughs> so I'm thinking about doing t shirts, right? Put on the back, like, don't just stand there, or since Moby Dick was a minnow, or Marge, get the stun gun, right? Thinking about putting some phrases on the back of them and just giving them away. What do you guys think? <laughs> the drawing of a doggy door. Hans Kraus. Right? Wasn't it funny? I need to get him just to, next time I do one of those, I'm just not going to put the video up. I'm just going to let him do that and then get a copy of that and put it up. <laughs> uh, so we got a uh, Atomic in there and nothing in there. And nothing in there. I can see an atomic in here, so I know there's one in here. And two. Um, Dominguez.
Colored Paper, um, Joey Votto, Gavin Lux, uh, Miguel Vargas. That's a nice card for the uh, orange paper spot. Non auto. Kraus Dominguez, Host Dominguez, Campisano. Um, that's the one that's gone, right? That's the one they released. Uh, Hunter Bishop, Spencer Howard Orange, uh, Colton Welker, Dominguez, Volpe, Gary Sanchez, Miguel Vargas, Wander Franco. That's a cool card. Forrest Whitley and Clark Schmidt. So three Dominguez? Or, yeah, three Dominguez base in there. Uh, Xavier, I know there's at least two I want to put up. Xavier Edwards, uh, Ashby, James Beard, Gold, uh, Diaz, Pena, Jackson, Rutledge, Orange, Patino, Volpe, that's a nice card too. Uh, Bryce Ball, Valera, Pages, and Logan Gilbert. That's a second Logan Gilbert auto to 50 I've hit. So yeah, that is your case. Oh crap, what case is that? 19, right? Oh, let me take a photo before I do all that. All right, guys, I'm going to do those um, those uh, mixers next. Oh, my God. He's gosh. been breaking for 10 years straight. 